So, we officially got the best news when it comes to DK Oldies. We have the number one main reason as to why DK Oldies is lying to consumers, sending them, you know, dirty, false, you know, whatever consoles that they're claiming that they're cleaning and that they're testing, that they're refurbishing, this and this and that. And this whole time, it's been number one reason, which we have have discussed it on a couple of our previous videos about DK Oldies. So, the issue, what it seems to be, and I watched Review Tech USA interview with who uh, a guy named, I think, Jake or whatever, but... Also, I watched Jacob Barr with an interview with somebody else from the former employee that used to work there. And these two guys have recently worked there in the last two or three years. So, both of them have got the same, you know, they've given the same details as to why DK Oldies is either not refurbishing their crap or is literally sending, you know, shipping the products that their customers are buying literally broken or, you know, not clean or not barely touched or, and better yet to be not even fresh new thermal paste, which is very, very important for a console. So behind all this, it is the odor, which you probably know about him right now with some of the previous videos from other content creators it's Drew. Drew as the owner. That's the whole debacle as to why DK Oldies is literally lying to their consumers and giving them literally false, you know, information saying that they're doing this and that they're doing that. And what we've heard from Jacob Barr's interview and then now Review Tech USA's interview, as well as Jay, who is his editor, these guys have both said that Drew has told them not to clean or take the consoles apart or refurbish them. That, to me, um, yeah, that doesn't sound very good at all. And it sounds like, to me, Drew is some kind of person that, like, even if it was not in a game business, even if it was, like, in a probably car business, he would not care if you know, somebody goes to buy a car and he is the one that's putting parts in these cars, these brand new cars or whatever, to make them run. He's He sounds like he's somebody that like, yeah, this car don't need this part. Well, we'll still sell it. And then next minute, you know, somebody's going to get that car and then it's just going to either take a crap on them literally right after as soon as they got it or it's just going to fall apart on them. And that's what it sounds like to me. Drew is the kind of person as just from those two interviews that Jacob Barr had and Richer Review Tech USA had just yesterday and a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it uh, does not sound good. And the reason why Joey's also making these videos falsely telling these people that they're doing this is because of Drew. Literally, it's because of Drew, the owner. He is the one that is making these choices. And it it's not good for the company. And this interview that Review Tech USA had yesterday, the guy is saying that what he thinks is since everybody is finding out about DK Oldies and the fact that they're ripping over consumers, ripping off consumers, I should say, and literally not cleaning their crap and basically like review tick USA barely getting a console that even functions right like the original Xbox D a lot of people are basically seeing this and they're not going to buy consoles from DK Oldies and their numbers are going to drop and he said that he thinks that sometime in the next few months is when big numbers are going to be dropped by and that they might change their you know they might change their strategy and finally end up 
doing what they said that they've been doing, which I don't believe it will, not with the way that this owner is doing, not with the way Drew's being. I, I don't see it. Not with the way that the owner, Drew, is being. And then what even makes it even worse with the owner is the fact that he is actually, like, harassing his employees because there is a video that was uploaded, like, several years ago of him taking pictures and literally harassing some of his employees. That's not very good. That is not freaking okay. So, all of this stuff pointing out from the information that we got with Review Tech USA on the interview with this guy yesterday, and then Jacob R. with this interview just a couple weeks ago, we found out the owner is the reason behind all this and is making these choices. And even the shipping manager, which surprisingly to me, it's kind of odd that they got a shipping manager, but whatever it, whatever it is, but even the shipping manager is literally telling them to not clean the consoles or take them apart, nope, sell them as it is, and it's because of Drew that's doing it, Drew is telling them this, so, I don't know, I, what it sounds like to me is DK Oldies definitely needs to get a new owner if they're going to stay in business because Drew is literally pushing it deep in the grave down into the ground with the way that he's treating his employees and that is literally lying to his cons- to his consumers with broken products or whatever dirty products that they're claiming that they're refurbishing that they're clearly not doing a single bit of. So, yeah. DK Oldies. He, I don't know if you guys watch this video. If somebody out there that, you know, does, that works with you. But, honestly, DK Oldies, you guys do need a new leader, a new owner. Because what we have been seeing with Drew, who is your current owner, he is not doing anything smart for the business. He's just plumbing in it to the ground and waiting until it dies and literally is going to keep falsely, you know, lying to all of its consumers because that's just the kind of guy that he seems like that he is. So, yeah. So, the owner, Drew, is behind most of this, if not all of this. And that is the reason why these content creators have been getting consoles that are not working properly or that ain't even clean at all like they've claimed that they're cleaning and refurbishing. Like, that's the whole reason as to why all these content creators have been getting dirty consoles like they are. So, something definitely needs to change at DK Oldies if the business is going to stay long. But if they keep Drew in as long as they have... The business sounds like it may not be around for very much longer. And that's just that's just what it sounds like it might be unless he admits to all the stuff that they've done and they change their ways and they start actually like producing what they're saying, like refurbishing the consoles, even if they're selling them at a high prices and the consumers gets good products. If they at least do that, all of this would be gone. But they don't want to do it, and they're telling the employees that do care about that stuff to not do it, yeah, DK Oldies ain't going to be around much longer unless they get a new owner, because Drew is the main reason as to why this is just happening, period. So, this is Tech and Gaming Reviews. Hope you all enjoy this video of us now having proof and showing you that, or telling you, I should say, that the owner is the reason behind all this of what's going on at DK Oldies and such. So just leave us your thoughts down in the comment section down below of your thoughts about DK Oldies, of it being the owner, you know, making all these choices and ruining the, his business and whatever. So yeah, just send us a comment down 
in the comment section down below. Like this video if you like it, and also be sure to subscribe if you are new to this YouTube channel, and we will be sure to keep you posted with more content going forward. But without any further ado, this is Tekken Gaming Reviews. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one. Peace.